Hi and welcome to Project Marlin. Um, as you see, set up on the bench again today. It's still a mess. We'll just get rid of some of that desiccant. Uh, today I'm going to be rebuilding the. Whoops. I'm not going to be rebuilding the. Whoops. I'm going to be rebuilding the air dryer. Um, but I've stripped it down today. Uh, you can see just there is the old desiccant cartridge and uh, that's all a bit manky and it's fallen to pieces um, so we've got the new desiccant cartridge to go in it uh, it turns out it's actually a bedford spare uh, i've got a new purge valve set up to go into behind the square which is the the end of the um air dryer see most importantly i've got the uh project marlin cup um, we're not doing any merchandise, it's just I wanted to cope with my fire engine on, so that's that. First things first, uh, one of the other spares that you know we've been needing <coughs> is uh, we've had problems with the handbrake. Now, the handbrake is completely unavailable. They don't make them anymore. Um, it's virtually impossible to get spares for them anymore. Um, apparently they've been out of production since about 2007. But... As well as fitting a Leyland Leopard, not a Leyland Leopard, sorry, a Leyland Olympian, they also fit some Dennis buses. And as well as some Dennis buses, it turns out they fit Bedford's, Bedford buses and TKs and TL uh, trucks that fit with air brakes. So I have a, a new to me second hand uh, handbrake valve. There's a couple of things with it. It's got this port on here at the moment, which isn't the right type for my truck. So I'm going to whip that out. I'm going to clean up the exhaust pipe. I'll give it a bit of a spray with the uh, the cleaner. Just clean it up a bit. And when we fit it to the truck, I'm going to replace the... Uh, oh, that's really hard to do. The pull collar there, because it's got a chunk out of it. And I'm going to put my one on. Um, might need a little bit of setting up when it goes on the truck, but it's... Ugh. it's really hard to move holding it in your hands whereas on mine it just flops around so that's good news I won't bore you with um, me cleaning it up I'll show you briefly after I've cleaned it up and once I've got the air dryer in I will record myself or record the way we put it together and changing the purge valves I won't record the, the cleaning up of it because if you've seen somebody wipe something down with brake cleaner um, it's pretty much all the same and it's, it's quite boring um, but yeah we'll go on from there right um, so a bit of a clean up ports out clean the, the glue part of it there was a bit of water in there a bit of moisture all a bit of a spray a bit of a wipe down doesn't look new but it looks much better than it did um, and to be honest at the moment better than it did is what I'm after um, we'll get over and fit this on the truck and hopefully we'll fit the air dryer as well so we can get the air tanks pumped up within a reasonable amount of time we can test the handbrake I'm um, hoping next couple of weeks to actually have all of the brakes working which might be optimistic but we'll see now we're going to have to pop back inside um, back into the house because you'll notice there's no casing for the air dryer here that is because I've washed it out with the hose pipe. Uh, it does need some more cleaning, but I'll sort that out when I bring it in. But to try and dry it out, I've put it on the cooker um, because Joe's not here, so she can't tell me off for doing it. Uh, uh, she um, she'll probably go mad to be quite honest. Oh, yeah. Um, one top tip is when you're spraying brake cleaner and dirt around, uh, don't leave your cup of tea next to it. Because I think there's some brake cleaner and there's certainly some dirt in my cup of tea at the moment. Right, we'll go and... Uh... Actually, I'm going to clean some other bits up here before I worry about going off and getting the, the thing. I'll let it, let it dry out for a bit longer. So I'm going to clean some bits up and we'll start looking at taking some bits to pieces. And then you'll hopefully see... Well, I don't know what you'll see um, because I haven't taken it apart yet. But hopefully... <laughs> it will be going uh, in the right direction. Um, 
right now there's supposed to be a bit of video uh, showing me taking out the the purge valve body from the truck however um, I, I don't know what's happened it's um, I thought I'd recorded that little piece but I hadn't so I apologize for that so we'll the next piece of video will show um, the body already taken out of the main um, bottom housing uh, unfortunately <clears throat> Excuse me. Unfortunately, because of uh, the way my garage is at the moment, I need to make up some sort of bracket to hold the camera in a, in a better position um, when I'm, I'm working on the bench. Um, so I'm in shot a lot in this video, so I apologise for that. And I also seem to have a bit of problems with camera. Num the video, at least while I'm editing it, is, is quite juddery. Obviously, I'm not going to go back out and strip the air dryer down to rebuild it. Um, if in the future I do get another air dryer to overhaul, I'll refilm it and replace this. Well, maybe not replace this video, but I will put up a, a better video of of uh, an air dryer dryer being overhauled. Um, so I apologise for the quality of this video. Um, it's even worse than my normal ones, and uh, I apologise for not filming something I thought I'd filmed. So uh, now we'll we'll carry on with the video. So. Uh one seamless change of the battery and a look for a screwdriver I do have a better screwdriver uh, <laughs> I think over the truck uh, here I don't all of them have been horribly abused um, the problem is is that it's just too easy with screwdrivers well actually I've got an idea if this doesn't work I'm just getting shot a moment Oh, well, that was tight. Um, it's a bit too easy with screwdrivers, especially when they're big ones, to use them as pry bars and things, um, which is something I'm guilty of, I'll be honest. Um, I'll need this again in a moment, but let's see. Will that focus on there? No. Basically, I've I've damaged the end of the screwdriver at some point, and I've taken to it with a grinder to try and dress it up. Um, right, so that's out of there. What's next? Uh, separate the purge valve, twelve, and the spring, thirteen. Um, and the piston. Okay. So, ah, there we go. So there's the spring and the piston and an o-ring and a manky body and yeah okay i'm going to clean all this up and i think we'll be putting it back together again in a minute okay i um cleaned everything up and i'm just about to open this packet up it told me to strip down the one-way check valve why it's told me to strip that down I don't, I've done it uh, but I'm not sure <laughs> to be quite honest why it's done that because the parts I've got don't seem to correspond to anything inside that but there we go these are the new parts a couple of rubber boots that I've, I don't know what they're for uh, I've got three o-rings which is a bit irritating so I need four. Um, don't know what that's for. All that screw. Um, well, okay. We assemble with special grease, blah blah blah. Fit cartridge. I'm not interested in that. I'm going to do that in a minute. Right. Um, Fit O ring 14 to piston K. Well, uh, piston K. Whoops. This one. <laughs> so I'm guessing that's 14. Yeah. 
so spring into body F. So that would be body F. Uh, now it's not telling me to grease anything. So I find it a little bit weird. But I do have some lubricating compound. So we're going to lubricate. Tell you what, I might just clean my hands. Uh, it's not the recommended way of cleaning your hands. Um, it's a very silly way to clean your hands, but might as well be consistent, eh? <coughs> so, I'm going to put a tiny little bit of this just round researing. Should have greased it before I put it in, really, but hey, there we go. So, I'm going to drink that there. Uh, Use the large clamp as before to print key to anywhere fit the purge rather than the screw. Do not omit the spring washer under L. Well, there's a the spring washer under L. But then we've got 12. Has it told me anything about 12? No, it hasn't, which I find a bit strange. So I've got a new one of 12. If we push that. Into there, we like lubricating. Um, to be honest, I'm more worried about right. So So that goes into there. Okie dokie. Need our screwdriver in the vise. So, let's do what I do. Oh, I was doing up a bit without. Now we need it. So, really, that. There you go. Ha <laughs> ha. So, that's that bit. Now, I think this one is going to be that one and that one. Have a bit of a grease of the earrings. Everything's better with a bit of grease. Sorry about that, I had a visit from the postman. Um, not sure what that is. Could be bits for the truck. We always like bits for the truck. So, that's there. Smidge more grease. They sort of people sort of say about o-rings and they do worry that if you start greasing o-rings if you don't use the right grease that's gonna start making them break down but most o-rings are fairly resilient to chemicals I and mean, if you're doing something old like this and you're using old-fashioned grease it's probably gonna be okay so we've got clean how it was cleaned out put that in there and we'll screw it in he says confidently as it won't go ah yeah, that's why there screwed in I should tighten that in a moment um, rather than bore you anymore I'm just going to 
have a bit more of a read of this and see what it says. Right, so, um, I just realised how badly I'm in shot. We've got that done. So the next part to go on is this. It lives on... No, not on a... I'll just go like that. So we've got, oops, one, two, three. Three little screws. Try to do things left handed a bit, so you see a bit better. That just simply retains that cap down. At some point, I will get set up a bit better in here. Probably about the time I stop doing things in here. Um, so that I can actually record directly down and you'll see a bit of a better view over my shoulder and arm in the way. This piece is just literally a piece of rubber tube. Um, could do with a bit of a clean, but it's not going to get it, I'll be honest. Um, it sits there. That sits there. Then the screw just goes down and clamps these two plates together. And that is fairly much all of that air valve. So, there we go. That's the purge valve all sorted out, all resealed. Should be, hopefully, working nicely. We'll have a look at this now. Because it told me to take it apart and I don't have the bits for it. Uh, quickly, I'm going to go and find some Loctite, so excuse me. Um, right then. I'm just going to check I have actually pressed record, because I'm terrible for not doing that. Right, in here, you've seen this before. This is air out to the truck. Um, I'll clean that up uh, in a minute. Air in from the auxiliary compressor, so I think that's a, a one-way valve. I assume it works. Um, we'll find more out about that. I'm not worried about that. I don't really care at the moment if that works. As long as it stops air going this way, don't care if air comes in at the minute. Uh, that's the least of my worries. This here is the one-way valve, so normally looks like that. Inside it's just simply a little rubber ball, a little spring and a little cap for the spring. So the best way to assemble this, put the cap in there, yeah, put the cap down in there, uh, spring appears to go either way, put the spring there and put the ball on top. However, before I go too far with that, just you could put that either way to make it work in either direction. In the book, on, in the paperwork, it says about a metal sealing washer here. This one doesn't have one, um, but it was thread locked. So we're going to put a bit more <laughs> of the thread lock on. Not a, a ridiculous amount. Um, so, spring, ball, and we'll put the lid on top. And that's going to tighten up quite nicely. blow that way. Can't blow that way. Mm. Can't blow that way. So yeah I'm happy with that. Air can go that way, can't go that way. Um, this is the o-ring that came off it. So I'm just gonna give this a bit of a clean. I'm not gonna grease, I'm gonna put it on but I'm not gonna grease it. The reason I'm not gonna grease it is because I'm not putting it on. Oh 
I might put it on. So I'm going to put that on. This might go back on the air dryer in a bit. If it does, I'll re-grease it. I'll grease it up before I put it on. Put that out of the way. These bits here, three O-rings, manky old spring, bit of valve. They're rubbish, I'll put those there. Um, put that out of the way. So, now, we can uh, go and have a look, see if the air dryer housing's dried out enough to, to uh, put back together. Right, so, here we go. New desiccant cartridge. Rather hefty. I thought it would be inside here, but it's actually this whole thing. It's going to be a real pain to fit. The idea is, this O-ring gets greased, goes in this groove. This pushes up <coughs> inside the housing. And the whole thing turns and screws in as an assembly. Um, once it's tight, another O-ring goes in this end, then the whole cap goes in. I am going to fit this without the camera running. Uh, because it's going to be difficult to film. Um, once this is fitted, um, I'll show it to you. I'll, I'll probably just show you this. The, I'll do the steps and then show you. Because um, that's going to be far easier for me to do at the moment. Right, so you can see I've got the, the cartridge in. It's a horrible, horrible thing to put together, I'll be quite honest. So, now I've got to think. We've got this big o-ring that goes in the top so we'll grease everything up um, we'll run a little bead of grease just around the inside there I used to not understand why you grease things like this when I was younger I used to put things together and o-rings used to split and get scraped and it'd be like oh I don't know why that's happened but it was because I was dumb, as it turned out. So, I'm still dumb. Hello, dog. Um, but, <laughs> at least I've learned about O-rings. Um, this is a really hefty beast of a thing. Uh, there we go. So that should just pop in sort of in there yeah that sits in there quite nicely i can't touch anything now because i'm too greasy i'm sure there's a joke there but we won't won't go down that route today right now what it says in the manual is you're supposed to mark this housing of where it goes i happen to know goes like that so I haven't marked it but oh, I'm gonna get greasy again I might have to disappear in a moment the dog is wandering about in the rain outside she's obviously feeling too old to let herself back in through a cat flap <coughs> oh no there she goes um, it's a dog with a cat flap I know how uh, that sounds I'm sure there's one or two people at least that watch these videos that know Rosie and you realise how small she is. She's also a very old lady. She is a... Oh no, she's stuck. She can't get through the cat flap. It's possible the cat is preventing her. So right, I'll just... Drop that like that one moment. Right, that is the uh, 15 year old Jack Russell let back in the house. So, whoops, we will give that a push. That goes down quite nicely actually. So, we've got my friend here from the other day. That has got two. Ha 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 ha. Might go in that way easier. It might not, but it might. So.
I don't like these things. Uh, my arm's in your way. This means if my arm's in your way, you can't see me hurt myself. If this was a circlip, this would be a lot, lot easier, wouldn't it? turn this over I don't know why it's in my head it's like well if it won't go that way it must go the other way that's not how these things work really right rather than have you sat there watching me struggle and laugh at me I will um, I'll get this in <laughs> and then I'll start filming the last little bit right well that was a lot less hassle than I thought it was going to be to be honest it's back in um, not convinced that's quite oh there you go it's back in place so I think well, these three little badges just I think that was been put on upside down do you know as soon as it's so bent so I reckon they go like that that makes sense to you? Makes sense to me. Now this one. Um, been on upside down by the look of it. So we'll put it on the right way up. And hopefully when we tighten it up it will sit down. These don't really make a lot of difference in my eyes. Because under the day, those spring clips aren't the sort of thing that readily jump out. Oh, that is the right one. It's quite a, a, a well, you saw the trouble I had getting it out the other day. It should be, in fact, There we go. So, what have we got left to fit? Uh, several things. You see what I'm doing on the camera. Oh. This one, and this one go in the top. This one goes in around well, this side for the unloader valve. This goes into there, and I've got the one to go into there. Um, not going to fit them now. Reason being is I'm going to take them. <coughs> sorry about that. Uh, take them over the farm where I've got the thread seal. And when I put this back on, I'll do it all there. Fact. No, that's got off the old handbrake. If I put these in here, I'll put that in there as well. And that, that is pretty much a wrap on rebuilding this hair dryer. It is a, <coughs> should we say a service of the air dryer rather than an overhaul. Um, this is yet to be tested. It's had a new desk and cartridge. I would have liked to sandblasted it, repainted it, get it looking like new. Um, at the moment there's so much else important to do on the truck and i need the air dryer working again um a service is what it's getting i'm going to keep my eyes open for a second hand one of these if i find a second hand one and another filter kit i will buy a second hand one strip it down sandblast it 
uh, and completely redo it. Uh, anyway, I think for this video, uh, without going too silly, that's about it. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please, if you've enjoyed the video, click a like on it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell everybody. The more people you can get watching these videos, for me at least, the better. Um, because the more people that see it, the more people, or the more chances I've got of finding somebody with knowledge of the truck and information on the truck. And and the more of that I get, the more chance I've actually got of, of getting somewhere with it. So yeah, um, we're going to start trying to do the videos a bit more often. Um, well, by a bit more often, it's a bit more regular. So I'm going to aim in for one video a week on a Friday at 8 o'clock. Um, we've already started doing that. And I'm also trying to put out slightly shorter videos, although this one might not be, and um, more fixed on a single piece of content. So, video on the air dryer, we'll have another video on the Maxim light bar at some point. We'll have a video of finally getting the handbrake working, we'll have a separate video for the hydraulic brakes. So, uh, we'll comp compartmentalise things a bit better. Anyway, thanks again for watching and uh, we'll see you soon.